Let's illustrate how you can implement the uh, compute text uh, program by visualizing how you can split your income uh, up to three parts, uh, depending on the kind of file that you have. Okay, so we're gonna use the examples over here. Jin over here being a single filer, and then with the particular income. Also, we're gonna talk about Jonathan being a married filer with this particular income. Let's visualize exactly what's gonna happen, and then you can actually uh, infer the same calculation for all the other uh, four, uh, five test cases I gave to you. Of course, you gotta test with more test cases. Okay, let's now switch to iPad, and then let's go over these uh, two examples, okay? So this is the table for for you to consider. So you can see 10%, 15%, and 25%, either a single filer, or it can be married filer, right? So these are the two possible cases, okay? Let's say we talk about Jim over here for the first case. Uh, he will be a single filer. So I'm gonna say single filer. So let me just use, use blue for Jim. So that means you have to worry about uh, different cutoff points. In this case, that would, this will be the first cutoff points, and this will be the second one, okay? And uh, so these are the two uh, cutoff points you have to uh, really pay attention to, okay? And Jim's uh, uh, income is this much, okay, over here. And what we can do is, let's say we draw the number line over here for Jim, Jim's income, okay? This is how, how I would draw it. So I will simply say, let's say this is his income, which is 186,476, okay? This is the income, basically from zero up, up to this amount, okay? So now, how do we actually split his income? So basically, you have to see where the two cutoff points are uh, with, with respect to his income. In this case, 8,350, the first cutoff point is around here, right? And then also, the second cutoff point is somehow smaller than this particular income. So we know that it's somewhere here, but it's after this first cutoff point. So it's gonna be $33,950, right? Roughly speaking. So now this is how we split his income into three parts. So now what we're gonna do is, so for the first part, it's gonna be 10%. And so this is the first part that is going to be 10%. And what about the second part? The second part that's put in blue is going to be 15%. And the third part is going to be above the second cutoff points and then put, let's put green. And it's going to be uh, 25%. So now how exactly do we calculate? So how, uh, how large is the yellow part? Basically for the yellow part over here, it's going to be exactly between zero and 8,350. So that's gonna be 8,350 multiplied by 10%, 0 0.1, okay? What about the blue part? The blue part is going to be basically this cutoff point, subtract this cutoff point, right? It's gonna be 33,950 minus 8,350 8, multiplied by the 15%, 0 0.15, okay? And then what about the green part? The green part, again, is going to be whatever the income value it is minus the second cut of points. So it's gonna be 186476 minus 33,950, and then multiply by 25%, 0 0.25. Okay, if you add it up together, this is how you calculate the tax for Jim. Okay, hopefully you see the idea. So now let's consider the second example quickly for Jonathan. So I will use orange over here. So now we have Jonathan here, who is a married filer. Basically the idea is we're still going to split that, uh, Jonathan's income into temp uh, three parts, up to three parts. But now we're gonna use the two different cutoff points. So we gotta selectively choose these two cutoff points uh, accordingly, okay? Let's see how we can split his income. His income is 33,500. Okay, so it's gonna be very similar. So what I would do is I'm gonna put his income over here. Okay, that's Jonathan's income. And then his income is uh, over here. So let me put it here. It's gonna be $33,500. And now we want to see where the two cutoff points cut point should look, uh, reside according uh, with respect to Jonathan's income. So this is zero. The first cutoff points is strictly smaller than Jonathan's income. So that should be somewhere here. Let me just put 16,700, right? 
And also, what about the second cutoff point? You can see the second cutoff point is actually beyond Jonathan's income, which means for that part, we don't have to charge him. Okay, we don't have to charge him for the text. So now in this case, we only split Jonathan's income into two parts. So to be very precise, the first part is gonna be from zero until the first cutoff points over here, right? The first cutoff point, which is here, okay? And the second part, let me put also in blue, is going to be from the first cut of points until Jonathan's income, only blue. So there's, there's no green part, okay, over here, right? You really have to see how large the user's income is, depending on their filing status, the cut of points, okay? So now how do we do that? Easy. So now for the yellow parts, it's going to be basically from zero until the first cut of points. So it's going to be... 16,700 minus zero, okay, multiply by 10%, point 0.1, plus the blue part, which is gonna be Jonathan's income, and also minus the first cutoff point, which will be uh, 33,500 minus 16,700, and then it's gonna be 15%. As, and, do we have any part to charge for the 25%? No, because simply because Jonathan's income is strictly less than, uh, so 33,500 is strictly less than the second cut of points, which is 63,900. Because it's strictly less than that, so there's no third part to charge the tax for, okay? So study these two visualization for the two examples carefully. Hopefully you can infer to about how you can implement your Java code.